Deep Vera. <laughs> How you doing? Glad to be here. Yeah, it's good, it's good, good to see you again. Jerry. Yeah, yeah, glad to have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so how'd you get hooked up with these guys? It started with Scott Ian's birthday party, which he was turning 50 a couple years ago, a year ago. He was turning 50. Sorry, Scott. He's turning, he's turning 50 last year, and he wanted, he was having a par small party at his house, and he said, you know, I want to do something different for my party. I'd, I'd love to like, I'd love to get a band together and play songs from one of my favorite bands that's not around anymore, and that band is Mother Superior. Mother Superior is a band that is fronted by Jim Wilson. We've all been fans of Mother Superior for, for many years now, and the band was defunct for the past like eight years or something, or uh, four, four or five years. And so we were all dying to see the band again, but they were just not, they weren't together anymore. So Scott's idea was that if I could get Jim to come to my party and, and agree to play play songs with me, I'd get to actually play Mother Superior songs with him in my band at my house. So Jim agreed and said, that, that sounds like fun. So then Scott called some of his other friends, myself included, John Tempesta, to play these songs with Jim and, and uh, Pearl and Scott. And we all said, sure, that sounds like a blast. How many times have I told you? It's like so much fun playing with these guys. We missed Mother Superior music, so and and Scott was turning 50, which is a milestone. So that was his wish: was I, I I'm 50. What what do I want in the whole entire universe? I want to hear Mother Superior music resurrected. Yeah, happily married. It's a beautiful thing, a beautiful story. A beautiful story. We have a three and a half year old. Yes. Yes. But boy, boy or girl? A boy. Oh, very good. Yeah. Revel. Yeah. Revel Young. A, a new kid to rock the world. He's a drummer. Oh, see? That's why musical families, uh, it, music gets passed down to the next generation. It's such a beautiful, you know, her father is Meatloaf. Come on, think about that. And look what she's doing now. And now her kid is going to rock your world uh, in the future. He said it. record just came out this week didn't it it came out Tuesday yeah, yeah so it just came out and uh, you know it's it's cool we're just I think the people that are hearing it are are into the fact that it's just straight up rock and roll it's not pretending to be that it's not pretending to be anything else it's just like honest hard rock and roll and that's I, I say it again this is it's in our DNA it's where we came from so I think people really kind of miss that you know like there's I think they miss having that sort of no-frills aspect of rock. Because yeah, Armored Saint already have a new record coming out. Yeah, Armored Saint has a new record coming out. It's called Win Hands Down. We're doing some shows on the East Coast, playing Texas, and then we're doing some California dates. <laughs> You're a backup singer for Motley Crue. That's you and Scott met, right? Yes. In 2000, I was on the uh, um, New Tattoo Tour. Is that what yeah. it was? Oh, I no. It was a Maximum Rock Tour, mm -hmm. right? Maximum Rock. I remember Motley Anthrax, Crue had the... Yeah. Megadeth, Motley Crue. Right. And I was one of the... Remember, they used to have the Nasty Habits, but when I joined, we were called the Crew Sluts. <laughs> You actually do your own solo thing too. I do, yeah. With actually with Jim Wilson from yeah. Mother Superior. Mother and, Sister, and and yeah. Scott's in the band too. You guys did a tour a few years ago. You played the Red Devil in San Francisco. We did, and we opened for Velvet Revolver, their last tour ever mm -hmm. before they disbanded. And um, we opened for Heart at the Gibson Amphitheater before it was defunct. 
now it's totally flattened for Harry Potter land. Right, so, 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 you're, so you're, uh, your own solo music is definitely in the classic rock vein, I take it. Of course. Yes. I think I'm in the classic rock vein. Well, you were born into it. I can't get out of it, and I don't want to. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. We, we kind of look at this as something that we get to do. <laughs> Like you said tonight on stage, is like we get to do this. It's not like this is what we do. We have to like we get to do this. This was this was a party that we did for Scott's 50th, and it just happened to make a mark for some people. And these are great songs to party to. Let me tell you. Yeah, thank you. I, I love to drink to this kind of music. Well, I I, don't, I shouldn't say thank you actually. Jim Wilson is. I don't know if he's over there. Yeah, maybe we'll go talk to him because this, this is this is just such high energy and just pumps you up, you know. This is Jim Wilson's music. It's yeah. all Jim Wilson. We have to thank Jim Wilson. Yeah. I get to sing Jim Wilson's music. Yeah, I'd like to hear you sing a lead sometime with him. Thank you. We should do a duet together. At least let you have a solo moment in the show. Well, we do. If he plays guitar, just let you take the stage and fucking kill it. You know. I've been writing music with Jim for about ten years now, okay. and so yeah, on our so new album we do a lot of it. it. It all ties in together. Yes. From from your solo thing, him playing with your solo band, and Scott and solo, and you guys doing Jim Jim's project, you know, and it, it, it's just a beautiful thing. It's all in the family, man. <laughs> So I definitely all recommend you come c come check out Mother Superior, get the album, yes. all that stuff, and uh, support my friend Mr. Mr. Vera here. <laughs> well, it was good to meet you, Pearl, and thank you so much. Thank you. It's nice to hang with you, man. All right, nice to hang with you.